guys would like to see John's decorations here. Cute little thing he set up. And then right there in the middle, there's like a little cauldron. It's got kind of a, a steamy sort of a look coming out of it. It's just one of those like um, mist making machines. He's got his Mickey Mouse vampire and um, the nightmare, the nightmare, nightmare before Christmas blow ups. And then over here we've got a, a ghost. That guy moves back and forth and makes noises that are supposed to sound like a ghost, but they really kind of sound like a cow. Anyway, good job, John. So it's really fun. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a couple of months ago, I bought some Buffy bars from Lush, ordered them, they arrived and they were all melted and misshapen. So Lush was amazing. They gave me a gift card for the exact amount I had paid for them and suggested that I wait until when the weather was a little bit cooler before I ordered them so they wouldn't melt in transit. But I was really hesitant to just throw out those melted misshapen bars. So um, I got one of these silicone soap mold kind of things and put a bar in each one of the sections and then stuck it in the microwave. Uh, when I was done, I kind of stirred it a little bit because this grainy stuff was not distributed evenly on the bottom. And then I, you know, let it, let it sit out on the counter. It did not solidify at first. So I ended up putting it in the freezer and when I took it out of the freezer, I wasn't sure if maybe it would go back to a melted state, but it didn't. It got up this morning and, and here it is. The only thing that's different is that all of this exfoliator stuff uh, is on, you know, it's on the bottom. And it seemed to me that it's usually distributed throughout. I'll have to see when my new, I just placed the order for my new Buffy bars. So I don't know if, you know, there's some way that they make it so that the exfoliate, exfoliant is all the way through the body butter part of it. But you use this in the shower and you just make sure that you're out of the stream of water so that it doesn't completely just make it disintegrate and wash away. And then you rub it in, look at that, super greasy and you you uh, kind of rub it into your skin and rinse it off and it ends up just just making your skin super smooth and really moisturized so i was happy not to have had to throw away those bars really glad i'm going to be getting the actual buffy bars but nice that i found a way to salvage the ones that were just didn't look nice so here's dinner tonight this is a hello fresh recipe it's but it's butternut squash agnolotti and the recipe, sorry for the shininess of that. Um, it was pretty simple. And it just has, you know, it shows you everything, the instructions, little pictures to go with it. And the ingredients in addition to the, they're kind of little raviolis. In addition to the butternut squash raviolis, there's shallot and garlic, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, sage, and kale. And so, you know, everything is portioned out and in little packages, and basically it's just sort of dump it into different pans at different times and stir it up, and, and it's really good. Oh, by the way, let me just say that I because I've been getting it for uh, several weeks now, I have actually earned four free weeks of food to give away to people I know. All you need to do is leave me a comment in the space below saying that you'd be interested in receiving a free week of food. There's no commitment. I've done this before and might as well let you guys see my face while I talk about this. I've done this before. I gave one week to a friend of mine and one week to my sister-in-law. My friend got it and chose not to sign up. You probably have to make an account, but you can just cancel. And there's no, there's no, there's just no strings attached. My sister-in-law decided to keep getting it. And then you can pause, you can skip weeks, 
you can go, you can skip months. You just have to go and, and you can go several weeks out and accept or skip the weeks they're going to send you. And, or if you don't like it, if you're not impressed with it, you can just cancel it and there's just no strings attached. So it's really a good deal. So if you are interested, the first four people, the only thing is that if you've ever had HelloFresh before in the past, then you can't get the free week. But if you've never tried it and you want to, this is a great way of trying it out. Hi you guys, it's Halloween today. Haven't been really doing um, a ton of things, you know, very productive. I did, well, I, I guess I, I did quite a bit of knitting on a blanket I'm working on, I'll have to show you that. And then I finished listening to an audio book called My Brilliant Friend, which I think I liked. <laughs> I say I think, it wasn't like, this big adventuresome or adventurous story or anything um, it's really just about the lives of these two Italian girls and it starts when they're really young and then as they as they grow up and there's just a lot of uh, oh, just interesting plot twists kind of I don't know if I would say um, but like deception and some you know different things and so it was it was good. I'm glad I listened to it and and I I just got into a book club. My uh my walking partner for my next half marathon is my former dean in the College of Education and she has this book club she's in which has a lot of people from the university. Well, they're all people from the university, but not necessarily people from the College of Education, just a couple from there and so a couple of faculty members and just different people who have different roles within the university and so the thing that I was I well I, I like that it's it's got some university folks in it to kind of keep me connected to all that but the other thing that I liked was that because these are busy people a lot of the people in the book club actually listen to their books on audio the last book club uh, club I was in I it was years ago actually probably well it was when I was a department chair it was right toward the end of when I was out of the book club and that was um, back in 2011 12 something like that and I was super busy at the time and so I was listening to a lot of the books instead of reading the actual book yeah. but I do like listening to audiobooks and so I was listening to some of the books and one of the ladies in the group just made a cutting comment about the fact that I was listening to some of the books instead of reading them and just you know just like like that like it wasn't the same thing and it's not the same thing but it's still the story and the content and there's so many things that I like to do with my hands and like knitting and and things like that that you can't do and read a book at the same time and so it's easier for me to listen to a book because then I can do some of the other things that I like to do at the same time so this group has quite a few people who like me are busy and or you know traveling for work and so they will listen to their books and so I thought well cool that nobody's gonna get on my case for for listening to the book instead of reading it so I'm excited about um, that whole thing that's tomorrow it meets the first Thursday of the month and it meets in the middle of the day because I have worship rehearsal on Thursday nights a couple times a month and so so it's, it just works out perfectly that it's during the lunch hour and so tomorrow will be the first time I go to that group so I just finished listening to the book today and already have the second audiobook for the for the next for the December meeting so yeah kind of kind of fun to have some things that I'm, I'm getting into but anyway I'm driving over to my mom's right now because I'm going to help her rip out her garden it's just getting colder and colder today. today's high temperature right now it's 48 we're heading into the cold time of year and so we've really got to 
get in there and get that thing ripped out so I'm going over there and I have Monica in her Halloween costume which I will pop in <laughs> pop in a picture of her for for you I don't know what the costume is actually supposed to be except that it is some kind of insect <laughs> it's kind of I was saying that I wanted her to either be a bumblebee or a ladybug and from the picture you can see that it seems to be some sort of combination of you know if it was just yellow and black then it would be a bee but it, since it's red and black it's sort of like I guess it's supposed to be like a bumblebee that mated with a ladybug and here's her costume <laughs> she doesn't love it um, but she looks adorable in it and after today she won't have to wear it again until next year mm -hmm.